Hello photographers, today I'm going to show you how to prevent shadows on your backdrops. So your shadows show up on your backdrop because your subject is blocking light from getting to the backdrop. Now getting rid of those shadows amounts to three things. Controlling where your subject is, controlling where your light is, and potentially adding more light to the scene. So we're going to start with controlling where your subject is. So here's a pretty classic setup right here. The camera is in front of me, the subject. I'm standing pretty close to the backdrop and then the light is off at camera right. And when you take a photograph with this setup, you see we get this shadow on the camera left side of the photograph because I am in between the light and the backdrop. But if you move your subject away from the background, give them four, five, six feet in between the background and the subject, and then you take that same photograph, you're going to get a very different result. Now that I'm standing five or so feet away from that backdrop, you can see that there is very little shadow. That alone will eliminate a bunch of the shadows that you're dealing with, but not all of the shadows. And if it doesn't eliminate the shadows, then the next thing you move to is positioning your light in a different spot. We're back in that sort of classic lighting setup. And again, when we take this photograph, we get something that looks like this. And here you can see there's this shadow on the camera left side of the photograph. Again, because I am in between the light and the backdrop. But if you move the position of your light, you're going to move where the shadow is going to fall. I've now positioned the light to the camera right side more dramatically. And what that means now is instead of the shadow being cast on the backdrop because the light's coming from this angle and then hitting me and then going towards the backdrop, the shadow is now going to be cast this way more towards the floor and the wall way over here at camera left, which is completely out of frame. So now when we take a photograph, we get something that looks like this. And as you can see, that shadow is basically gone. There's still a tiny bit of darkness over on the camera left side of the photograph, but there's no discernible shadow being cast by me as the subject because we change where the light is and we change where the shadow is going to fall. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, that's great, but now the entire entire left side of the subject is in darkness and I don't want that. I want some light in there. There's an easy solution for that. Just bring in your V flat. With your V-flat over here, just out of frame, you're gonna take some of this light and bounce it back onto your subject, lighting that side of your subject up, and even throwing some of that light onto your backdrop, which will make that even brighter and help eliminate the bit of shadow that does show up there. And when you do that, you get a photo that looks like this. Beautiful, clean light on both sides, zero shadows that we need to worry about. So moving your subject away from the thing that the shadow is falling on is one technique. Moving your light to change where the shadow falls is another technique to eliminate shadows. The third technique is to bring light in to the area where the shadow is being cast. And it looks something like this. This light is pointing at the area on the backdrop where that shadow was falling. So when we turn this light on and then we take a photograph, we get something that looks like this. Beautiful clean portrait with a beautiful clean background with no shadow because we took light and added it to fill that shadow in. So that is how you eliminate shadows on your backdrop. If you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. And I've got a question for you while you're down there. I need something to watch while I work out on the rowing machine, a 30 minute show. Comment your favorite 30 minute show so I can find something to work out to. And then like this video and subscribe to my channel and get out there and take some damn photos. If you move the position of your light. That wasn't supposed to fall on the ground.